Seed sharing website is connecting resources. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Vlado, your host, webmaster, DJ, and so much more from MediaMonarchy.com with a quick look at some of the ways that we are winning. This is Good News Next Week. Is this episode 50? I think it is for the week of May 15th, 2017. Coming to you, as nearly always, from our burgeoning balcony garden here in the urban sprawl known as Peak Portland, Oregon. Hope that you are doing well and doing safe and doing sound wherever you are. Just back from a run, and I hope that you're taking care of yourself as well. That's one of the most fundamental things, and I know it seems even strange coming out of my own mouth. It's only a change I've really set my mind to in the last five years as I'm coming up on five years since I quit smoking. And I realize now as I'm knock, knock, knocking on 40's door, I'm glad I made that decision five years ago and still go out for runs and do daily workout routines that just as we react to, you know, a lot of our alerts and a lot of our notifications, I wasn't even planning on talking about this, but it's a nice, easy, simple solution. And I found it really helpful. I set alarms on my devices. So at multiple times throughout the day, it goes off and I go, oh, I got to do push-ups. It's very easy. It's very easy to do and the alarm goes off and you drop and you do them and you, before you know it, you're doing more workouts each and every day. Love to collaborate if, if you're into it. You can always reach out to me, james at mediamonarchy.com. Now for my prepared statements of some of the ways that we are winning. They call it a good start. Puerto Rico to close 184 public schools. Hashtag agorism. Can you imagine what a lot of us would be like if we weren't forced to go through the 15,000 hours of compulsory education might not we might not be where we are right now uh, we might be in a vastly different place over 25,000 people contributed financially to Kickstarter journalism projects in 2015 that's up from just 792 in 2009 as I think hopefully work like this and all kinds of work like it shows that people will put their dollars and vote with their dollars towards things that they find value in I know, Washington Post says democracy dies in darkness. It's a very convenient, convenient timing for them. The number of active digital currency users is 3 million, so finds a Cambridge University study. And again, everything we say and mention will always be included down in the show notes. And a huge thanks to everybody who submits these good news stories using hashtag good news next week. Ray and Sean and Nicole and everybody. Congress agrees to give Jeff Sessions zero dollars to wage war on medical marijuana. Not sure if we've already mentioned that one before, but that one's worth tooting the horn about yet again. As long as we're talking numbers, Vermont legislature passes bill to make marijuana legal for adults. I don't know if that's adults of 18 or, eight or 21, but the weed prohibition is ending rapidly. And their neighbor over in New Hampshire, probably doing it the best, defeating it eight times, but Finally, they've passed it. They're essentially decriminalizing. And it went down in the vote 17 to 6. Decriminalization, definitely the way to go in the ending the war on weed. Our cover story this week comes from our buddy James Corbett, of course, at Corbett Report on the tweets, using hashtag Food World Order and Good News Next Week. New seed sharing and swapping site from the Center for Food Safety. And I've met some of those folks. Some of those folks are actually based right here in Portland, Oregon, and we've been involved in many years past in some of the seed actions there and back in the old March Against Monsanto days. Now again, a lot of the ways I think we're definitely not out marching in the streets so much anymore. We've learned those lessons and we've tried to apply them to our lives, which I think is really where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. Finally, our last hashtag good news next week story comes from our buddy Eric Moshe, who's doing fantastic work over at the similarly crowdfunded Newsbud, and they're going through their phase three right now, so best of luck to them. Our buddy Eric Moshe tweeted that letter carriers help stamp out hunger. The article he's got is from South Dakota, but I can tell you from right here in Portland, Oregon, it's a pretty easy thing to take part in. It was this past Saturday, U.S. Postal Service, they basically give you the bags, you put good food in them, they carry them off, and hopefully it goes to the people that actually need it. It's nice to actually not just put the junk you don't want in the bag and creamed corn and things like that, but to actually put things in the bag that you love and you eat yourself. Again, that's what it's all about. You got to really kind of walk your talk and talk your walk. That's a look at some of the ways that we are winning, my friend. And again, I appreciate you all your support here. We've been Media Monarchy for nearly 12 years and you've never heard an ad. You've never heard a pre-roll or any of that kind of stuff. We are news brought to you by you. I suppose it wouldn't be a good news next week if I 
didn't grab Frankie and force her to be in the video for a couple of seconds. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> That's your good news next week, episode 50 for the week of May 15th, 2017. Again, I'm James Evan Pilata, thanking you so much for watching and listening and taking part. And reminding you, as always, like Jellaby Offer from the Dead Kennedy said, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.